Crazy constructions and ingenious solutions. Here are some crazy neighbours that were actually genius. Brilliant news! Number 1. The Lift House In 2010, Bangladeshi Canadian architect Prithula Prosun began a project that had the people in the surrounding houses thinking she was completely crazy. Instead of building the house above ground on stilts to protect it from water damage in this flood-prone area, she was excavating below ground to put it in a concrete foundation. She then began building a central brick service structure and the bases of both houses on either side of it. The crazy thing that she was building three bases below ground level and filling them with used plastic bottles. Attached to this base structure, she then built two two-storey houses out of bamboo using traditional methods. Although the other villagers liked the idea of not having to climb up to your house and just being able to walk in, they feared that this is exactly what the water would do when the floods came. However, this is what makes the lift house so ingenious. When the water begins to rise, it runs into the concrete pool below the house and starts filling it. The plastic bottle filled base begins to float up to the top of the water and lifts the house structure attached to it above the level of the rising water, elevating it up to a height of 12 foot. The houses float above the water anchored to the brick and concrete base until the water resides and then they descend back down to ground level. The ingenuity doesn't stop here though. The central brick service building isn't just an anchor for the houses, on top it has a terrace Below that are bathroom and kitchens and below that rainwater storage systems, waste storage and a vegetable garden. Not only is Prithula's crazy design practical and functional, but it is also cheap, something hugely important in these poverty-stricken, flood-prone areas. The two-house plot project cost just $9,360 to complete, but estimates for building multiple units at the same time put the cost of each house as low as $3,600. Number 2. The Eye of the Storm the South Carolina coast is prone to hurricanes. In 1989, Hurricane Hugo struck the coast with winds reaching up to 140 miles per hour. The hurricane demolished over 26,000 homes, and one of those homes belonged to the parents of George Paul, a builder who, alongside architect Gertrude X. Dilling, designed and built this dome home named the Eye of the Storm. The home is 34 foot tall and has 3,580 square foot of living space. The structure was made by using a dome-shaped air form which was covered with reinforced steel and then sprayed with concrete. The top two floors were then suspended from the dome and the ground floor is an open-air garage which allows stormy winds and rain to flow through it. Its $600,000 price tag back then, which is about $1.25 million nowadays, and the fact that the house stands out like a sore thumb may make it seem like a crazy thing to build, but it is actually completely genius. Since its completion, it survived every single single tropical storm and hurricane with no damage. It's so clever that it actually makes you wonder why every home isn't built like this. Number 3. Mississippi Floods even though the Mississippi River floods almost every year, Vicksburg, Mississippi wasn't particularly prone to flooding. In fact, before 2011, the most recent flood it had suffered dated back to 1927. After this event, a massive flood control system was constructed, spanning the entire river, and nowadays every house in the area has to be built above the 1927 flood line to avoid having to pay flood insurance. So with this in mind, when reports came in of a possible flood in 2011, not many people in Vicksburg were worried. Other more cautious people heard the reports of record-breaking rainfalls and thought that the flooding may also be record-breaking, so they began to prepare. Using truckloads of dirt and sand and heavy machinery like excavators and loaders, they constructed tall barriers around the perimeter of their properties. Some people thought it seemed like a pretty crazy waste of money at the time, considering the possibility of the water level getting that high was very small. But unfortunately on May 18th these more cautious people were proven right and the water level rose to record-breaking heights, damaging a total of 21,000 buildings and causing 2.8 billion dollars in damages. However, thanks to the precautions taken by many residents and the flood control system put in place after the 1927 floods, the effects of this flood were greatly mitigated and approximately 1.5 million homes were saved. Number 4. The Sand Palace 
When Mr. Russell King and his nephew, Dr. LeBron Lackey, started to build their beachfront house in Mexico Beach, they decided that Florida building code requirements that the house should withstand winds between 120 miles per hour and 150 miles per hour were too lenient. They also thought Florida's more restrictive South Florida requirements of 175 miles per hour were also too low, so they decided to build it to withstand 250 mile per hour winds. This overkill construction began with massive 40 feet concrete pilings, drilled into the floor to anchor down their house, reinforced concrete stilts, held the house high above the sea surge water level caused by hurricanes. The corners of the house were also concrete. Special screws and fixings were used throughout the build, and overhangs and windows were kept to a minimum. King and Lackley's construction and fear of hurricanes may have seemed over the top to many in Mexico Beach, but their fears were unfortunately proven all too valid in 2018, less than one year after completion. On October 10, 2018, a Category 4 hurricane hit Mexico Beach with sustained winds of 155 miles per hour that severely damaged or completely destroyed 340 of the town's 440 homes. The Sand Palace was the only beachfront home to not only survive the hurricane, but to sustain very little damage in doing so. Which did you think was the most ingenious? Comment below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe for more.